and you you can use it for bringing back all them nice square edges this is what we're making um, I'll just I'm going to put a couple more teeth in this one um, and there you go and, and I'm using this you could do it you could do it across a wide section for for flatter surfaces this I'm making just to do little um, uh, rebates in stonework that have been heavily painted and the, the method is to insert short pieces of of um, hacksaw blade at an angle and at a, and at a rake as well and you can you can mix them up you can put them like this across you can put them just like this uh, this or you can put them in square um, after after a bit of time you'll work out which is the better way to, to do it in this case I like to use it like this and um, all of these are roughly the same angle and I'm going in that direction which is against the lean of the blade because all I'm doing is cleaning out tight corners on stonework that have been heavily painted and this is the way I do it now I've already made this one of course but if you were starting afresh you would you would set a, a gauge up to anything really it doesn't matter too much but about half of a blade the depth of a blade mark the edge of your timber both sides like so makes it easier in a vice and then decide how many blades you're going to have and then just mark the timber uh, you could measure it divide it up and, and mark it um, I don't know it doesn't matter much which what what angle I'll say something like that you could measure it exactly if you wanted it doesn't really much matter um, the more blades the longer they last and then you'd simply <laughs> make a saw cut then take your bit of blade place it in and then tap it in like so um, to make your bits of blade once again you can measure you can measure accurately if you want or or you can just do it roughly in air pliers blade make sure you wear a glove these bits are going to be really sharp and depending on what kind of axle blade you use some of them they don't just break where the pliers are they might throw some odd bits out as well so you, you could do with some safety glasses on but there you go there's there's one type the other type this is this is an older blade here you might as well use an old blade actually and see that one breaks a bit differently so that's what we're after some pieces like that and, and, and having thought about it the this I'm going to bring this one right to the end because I want to just get into some of those little nicky corners I'm going to make a wider one as well and you can make it with any size piece of wood you need something so you, you can get hold of it um, this is a little bit small that could have done with being a bit thicker than that but but basically it, it'll work so there we go there we are, blade in, square down, lean it over a bit and at an angle and the teeth they obviously wear down um, but it doesn't matter until they're, <laughs> until they're worn right down to the wood of course and then when they get right down to the wood you just knock them out and put a new one in or just make yourself another one if you find it that useful that's what you would do As I say, they're really ideal for, to, for when you've got a bay or you've got stonework that have been that's been um, that's been painted over the years, and the, the paint's got to a point whereby it's got so thick um, and it gets all knobbly, doesn't it? Um, and you you just need to get the uh, 
to get the nobbles off um, especially in the corners um, and, and you're just trying to bring the profile back so, a li so it looks neat and that's what I'm using this for but you could you could use it for all sorts of things there you go there's a little one that'll do and as I say you actually use it in that direction but it might find you might find it works good that way depending on how hard the paint is but that's the, that's the idea that's not a bit of paint on the axle blade but there you go just an idea